Welcome back to Ultimate Movie Recaps. Thanks for supporting us. Today I am showing a 2006 American action film titled Snakes on a Plane. Watch out for the spoilers, just enjoy and take care. At the start of the movie, we see Jones who is a bike racer. He notices a man hanging upside down when he was practicing his bike. That man looked very badly injured when Jones approached him. That man asks him to leave when he goes to help him. Jones sees him while taking cover behind the bushes. A crime syndicate leader named Kim emerges from a car and kills that man brutally. Jones is terrified when he sees that incident and flees with his bike. However, Kim notices him and instructs his men to chase Jones. Jones returns home and begins watching the news. The news was broadcasting the murder of a man whom he had seen a few moments ago, then he hears a voice from his door. When he sees from the door hole, he notices the gang members of Kim who had come to kill him. Before they could open the door the FBI agent Neville arrives there and kills all of them and saves the life of Jones. On the way, Neville asks Jones why he didn't inform anyone even though he saw the murder. Jones replies by saying that all the police officers were corrupt and we can't expect any help from them. Later, we see both of them in the FBI's office. Neville informs Jones that the FBI couldn't catch Kim for many years as there was no strong evidence against him. He asks Jones to testify against him so that they can prosecute him. Initially, Jones refuses to help Neville, but Neville makes him understand that his witness is very important to prosecute him. With no other options left, finally, Jones agrees with the officer. Neville says to Jones that they have to go to Los Angeles as the charges were filed against him in that city. Despite increased security for the flight, Kim arranges for a time-release crate full of venomous snakes to be placed in the cargo hold in an attempt to bring down the plane before it reaches Los Angeles airport. To ensure the snakes indiscriminately attack everybody without the need for provocation, one of his henchmen disguised as an airport ground employee sprays the passenger's flower garland with a special pheromone which makes the snakes highly aggressive. Later we see an air hostess presenting flower garlands for the passengers flying to Los Angeles. Neville, Jones, and their third companion Sanders sit in the plane. The plane takes off to Los Angeles and all the passenger were enjoying their journey on the plane. It seemed as if everything was perfect. In the following scene, we see a box with a timer exploding and releasing all the snakes. No one knows about those snakes. All were happy but then a viper chops the electrical wires present in the engine room resulting in a short circuit. All the snakes move towards passengers. Later we see a snake attacking a guy, resulting in his death. One more passenger moves to the washroom, snake bites him as he moves away to escape, his head collides with a wall and he dies immediately. All these were very poisonous snakes. The people were dying on the spot when they bite them. Now, these snakes spread throughout the whole plane. As 50% of the plane is without electricity, a pilot goes to check the engine room to rectify the problem. He makes everything fine after going to that place. Suddenly a massive and dangerous snake bites his neck resulting in his death. The air hostess and the captain of the plane think that his death may be due to a heart attack. The air hostess calls Neville for help because he is an FBI agent, but his companion says to return back. However, the captain claims that they have traveled halfway and returning would be a foolish decision. Neville agrees with the captain and says to head towards Los Angeles. But they don't know that Ken has deliberately spread snakes in that plane. Captain was alerting everyone due to the damage of the short circuit. He was advising everyone to wear seat belts but suddenly a snake arrives in his cabin. With no other option, he starts hitting that snake to get rid of it, unfortunately, he hits a button due to which all the oxygen masks fall in front of the passengers, through which all the snakes appear before the passengers and start attacking them. This scene looks just horrible. The snakes become very aggressive as some of the people were still wearing the flower garlands. A snake goes inside a girl's mouth and kills her brutally. A snake also bites Neville's companion Sanders. But Neville arrives and saves him. Neville wants to save everyone. He asks everyone to go to the first class of the plane. Hearing it, they all run upstairs. Meanwhile, many passengers were killed by the snakes. On the other hand, Neville was killing those snakes with an electric gun. 
The snakes were large in numbers, as their number starts to increase, Neville gets panicked. He tells the leftover people that there are a lot of snakes in the plane and we have to do something to escape from them. All the passengers arrive in the first class of the plane and make a wall with the help of the luggage so as to escape from the snakes. Neville's companion Sanders also dies because of the snake bite. Neville feels sad because of his companion's death. Meanwhile, the captain arrives and asks Neville to handle everything. He informs him that it takes two hours to reach Los Angeles and also adds that the safety of all passengers is in his hands. The plane's condition looks horrible as there were snakes everywhere. The air hostess discovers a dead body and a snake was coming out of its mouth. They all get scared seeing this scene. Then the scene shifts to Jones, who comes out observing the whole situation. Actually, he wants to help the people out there, but Neville insists that his life is very precious and orders him to go inside. In the next scene, we see Neville's companion who goes to the doctor and explains the whole situation on the plane. After knowing the whole situation, the doctor then tells Neville that snakes don't attack someone without any reason. Definitely, there should be something in the plane due to which the snakes are becoming aggressive. It means the snakes were aggressive because of those flowers. Neville requests the doctor to make the antidote to those snakes. The doctor replies that he can make an antidote when he knows the species of all the snakes. Neville tells him the snakes are in thousands of numbers. The doctor says if he gives them the wrong antidote then they all could die. That's why it is very important for him to know the species. After the phone disconnects, everyone discovers that this is all happening because of Jones. They become furious at Neville. Neville makes them understand that this is not the right time to fight. He says, we all have to fight with those snakes together. Neville starts sending the pictures of the snakes to the doctor. Meanwhile, we see a huge snake biting the captain's hand in his cabin. It even pulls him down with its power. Now there was none to handle the plane. The air hostess becomes worried when she sees the plane flying just at 1000 feet altitude. She reaches the plane's handle escaping from the snakes. Just then Neville also arrives at the cockpit. They both handle the plane together. Due to the heavy movement in the plane, a tray slides towards the passengers and breaks the luggage wall. There were many snakes in that tray. The passengers become terrified when they see those snakes. They all move towards upside together, due to the heavy load, the stairs break. Meanwhile, another snake bites a passenger's neck and kills him instantly. On the other hand, we see an anaconda arriving there which was massive and looks very terrifying. It sees all the passengers, later holds a passenger and kills him swallowing his head. This scene frightens the passengers even more. On another side, we see the captain still alive, his hand looks swollen due to the snake bite. Later, the captain sets the plane in autopilot mode. In the meantime, many snakes were moving upstairs, then passengers put a huge cloth to become invisible to the snakes. The scene shifts to the doctor, he is informing Neville's companion that there are many snakes in the plane and it is difficult to make their antidote at the same time. Meanwhile, the passengers were feeling a shortage of oxygen in the plane. Because the plane's AC was about to shut down, the captain says to Neville that this is all happening due to snakes and there is a short circuit down which has to be repaired by him. Neville moves there to save everyone in spite of the many snakes. He asks the air hostess to guide him. Neville feels everything is fine when he goes down. Suddenly, many snakes arrive. Neville takes out the fire thrower immediately and kills them. He dispatches some snakes from there. Neville makes everything fine, including the lights and AC. Making the passengers feel fine. The scene again shifts to the doctor. He discovers that Ken had bought those snakes from another dealer. He thinks that Guy Shirley has the antidote to those snakes. Now they move in search of the dealer. When they reach there, those guys start firing at the doctor. But when the doctor's companion fires at the dealer, he falls into the snake box. As a result, a poisonous snake bites him, they demand to provide the list of the snakes or the antidote, so that they could make the antidote. He tells that Ken's henchman has sprayed a pheromone on the flowers due to which the snakes have become aggressive. They tell Neville that they have got the antidote. 
He also adds that he will pass the antidote as soon as the plane lands. All the passengers become happy after hearing this news. As Neville goes to tell this info to the captain, he notices that the captain has died already and becomes worried seeing a lot of snakes there. There was none to handle the plane. Then air hostess asks everyone if anyone knows how to fly the plane. There was none except one and he says that he had flown the planes while playing the games. They all wanted to send that boy to the cabin, where he has to control the plane. They decide to tie themselves with a rope and break a window due to which all the snakes will be sucked outside because of depressuring. Neville breaks the two windows and all the snakes were falling outside from the plane. The passengers were saved because of the rope. Meanwhile, a snake holds a lady, but his next passenger throws it out and now all the anacondas were falling outside. The plane also gets damaged due to depressure. Later Neville and the boy wisely land that plane. They were moving all the passengers through an emergency landing. Unfortunately, a snake holds Jones, to set him free. Neville shoots at the snake. However, the bullet hits Jones, and it appears that Jones is dead. When they take off his shirt they notice that he has worn a bulletproof jacket due to which he gets saved. The doctors, police, and the ambulance were already there. They save the passengers by giving them the antidote and successfully save the remaining passengers. Final the air hostess becomes Neville's and Jones' friend. This marks the end of the movie.